And in the meantime, high-level officials from North Korea and Japan sat down for talks in Beijing on this Tuesday to hammer out the details of a previous deal that promises to reopen an investigation into the abductions of Japanese nationals decades ago. The meeting went ahead despite the speculation that Japan might pull out in protest of North Korea's recent launch of a short-range missiles over this weekend. Yu Dian tells us more. Tuesday's high-level meeting between Japan and North Korea began with an exchange of strong words over Pyongyang's firing of two short-range missiles into the East Sea between the two nations over the weekend. In his opening remarks, Japan's chief delegate to the talks, Junichi Ihara, launched a strong protest against the launch, calling it a violation of UN Security Council resolutions. His North Korean counterpart Song Yiro said Pyongyang has made it clear that they do not recognize the resolutions and insisted that the test firings were safe and fully consistent with maintaining peace and stability in the region. Despite the tensions, the two countries did agree to continue constructive talks on reinvestigating the abduction of Japanese nationals by North Korean agents in the 1970s and 80s. In a diplomatic breakthrough, the two countries struck a deal in Stockholm last month on reopening the abduction probe. In return, Japan has promised to lift some sanctions and resume humanitarian aid to North Korea. Pyongyang on Tuesday reportedly briefed Japan about the special investigative team it has assembled to look into the Japanese abductee issue. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is looking over the details and is expected to decide on Wednesday whether its government will lift partial sanctions on the communist state and, if so, to what scale. Yurian, Arirang News.